And there you go. So you will need a, uh, a Ryobi or a Makita cutting wheel, which every man worth his weight in grain and salt, whatever the hell saying goes, needs one of those. You need some cutting wheels to get the initial, and then you take the grinding wheel, and after a slide or two on, you just lean into that baby, and it's tight, tight, tight. Jesus, it's tight. Ah. One second. Yeesh. Let's see, and get it all the way on. Ah. There we go. I didn't need to cut that much off, but it doesn't matter. So you catch my drift. So yeah, I could have cut a narrower slot, but uh, if the jets are right, it's not going to spray out there anyways. So I'll take it out on the truck tomorrow and give her a shot. You can see you got no air leakage in there. Nothing uh, Aerotech's going to worry about. I think at one point on my original Ford jet, I had uh, drilled a hole through there and made a little plate to cover that up. And it kind of rusted out, looked like crap. And I found that just by tweaking the outer jet, kept it from spraying over there. But the whole point of making these tie glides useful is that you can angle the jet to strike right there. So you're getting 50, what we call 50-50 glide carpet interface spray. So you eliminate the streaking that this wand would streak like hell if you tried to use it without a glide. And uh, obviously it makes it nice and easy to use. I do have to put some check valves in there. That's another thing they forgot to put on there. As well as giving me a decent handle. There's no way I would use this crude looking thing. I don't know where this came from. Could very well be a mighty product. So I'll assume those bolts are going to strip out. Sorry, Larry. And uh, we'll give her a shot tomorrow.